like to see what's behind this door? Follow me. Each year, except for this year, the bell ringers of Hexham Abbey have opened the tower for Heritage Open Days and given tours of the ringing chamber and the bells. This is our virtual tour. Each tour takes half an hour with about 12 people in each group. Everyone is warned to mind their heads through the low doorways. Two ringers take them this way, up the stairs and along the clear story, to the ringing chamber, which is directly above where the choir sits. The Hexham ringers take this route three or more times a week, or they used to. The bells haven't been rung since the 15th of March. Ringing is not very strenuous exercise, and when someone interested in learning asks if they would be fit enough to ring, we would normally say that if they've made it up the stairs to the ringing chamber, they probably are. The ringing chamber often surprises our visitors. It's a large room, about eight metres square, and we spend a great deal of time in it, ringing for practices on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and ringing twice for service on a Sunday. There are 10 ropes for our 10 bells, and plenty to look at on the walls. The wiggly line on the wall, called double Oxford, is an example of a bell ringing method. Each ringer learns this diagram, and it tells us when to ring our bell. The pictures are of our band of ringers, there are about 20 of us, away on ringing holidays. Our band visits another part of the country for a week each summer. These levers close flaps upstairs and make the bells quieter. The map has all our ringing holidays of the last 30 years marked on it. The boards on the wall mark peals that have been rung for special occasions. A peal is 5,000 or more changes and takes over three hours to ring. We have an old clock that drives the hands on the clock faces you can see on the tower and runs the chimes that you can hear every quarter of an hour. Chiming hammers strike on the outside of some of the bells. This is Karen, one of our ringers about to demonstrate ringing a bell. She lets the spider down, it's always called a spider although ours is a bell, takes the ropes off and ties them up. The bells are all down at the moment, hanging mouth downwards, which is the safe position to leave them. To be able to ring the bells they must first be rung up and brought to rest upside down. It isn't possible to be sure, just by looking at the ropes, whether the bells are up or down. To ring up, it is necessary to start with coils of rope in your hand, but if the bell was up already, you could get a nasty injury. So we are taught always to check by pulling the sally gently before taking the coils. If the bell is down, it will swing freely. You will see Karen do this. Show you how we ring the bells here. 
There, did you see that? She now takes coils and begins to swing the bell backwards and forwards a bit more each time until she can bring the bell to rest upside down. By the time the bell is nearly fully up, there are two strokes. A hand stroke when she pulls the sally and the back stroke when she pulls the tail end. She's just started to put her hand on the sally for the hand stroke. One hand at first and then later on she'll use both hands. We would then take our groups of visitors upstairs to see the bells and to see a bell being rung. Hello, this is the bell chamber. As you can see, this is where our ten bells live. This one that's upside down is our oldest bell. It was cast in 1743. Still going strong today, as good as when it was new. Watching the bell ring, you can see that it is attached to a headstock, which is attached to a large wheel, and the rope runs around the outside of the wheel. You can see the stay, uh, a piece of wood attached to the headstock, which allows the ringer to bring the bell to rest upside down, propped against the stay. We wouldn't normally have the chimes on when our visitors are upstairs and we ask everyone to cover their ears when a bell is rung. Once everyone has seen the bells, two ringers show them all the way down the stairs. This can sometimes take a while as people like to stop to look at the view. I hope you found this rough and ready video interesting and that, is, that it has given you some idea of what goes on upstairs. You would find out a lot more on a real tour once we're able to run them again. I'll leave you with the sound of our bells. These are some experienced ringers ringing Bristol Surprise Royal. We're looking forward to ringing them again. I hope you are looking forward to hearing them too.